Hello my dear little kids how are you I hope you all are safe and fine So welcome to your science lecture I am your Ruhin ma'am and this is your science lecture of second standard So let's start with it So first we will start with a beautiful thought that is if you don't like something change it if you can't change it change the way you think about it so here if there is something that you don't like it and you don't want then you can change it but when sometimes it happens that you can't change that if a situation is there that you can't can't change that thing so what other thing can you do it you can change your way of thinking you can change your thinking about it you can be positive about that thing and do think about uh, positive about that thing so if we don't like that then we should change our mind change our thinking the way of thinking we should be positive about that so it will be all fine so this was all about this thought now next today in this lecture we are going to do introductions about uh, what is in your textbook and how it looks then then we are going to start with our first unit that is plant life and in that we are going to do lesson number 1 types of plants and in that three topics we will cover trees shrubs and herbs so let's start with it so as you can see this is your textbook science textbook it is the cover page of your book it is green in color there it is written new science in everyday life of second standard okay so as you can see your textbook if you have your textbook take your textbook with you if you don't have then no problem you just watch this video okay now okay this is the index page where all the lessons names are written content is written which chapter is there which chapter in that chapter of which lesson is there etc so we are going to do unit 1 life plant life and in that lesson number 1 types of plants okay so lesson 1 types of plants lesson 1 types of plants so before that we will read it the first paragraph there are many types of plants around us plants are of different shapes and size look at the picture given below circle the biggest and strongest plant also color the plant that needs support to stand straight in green so if you have your textbook you can do this activity in your textbook you have to circle the biggest plant which is biggest and strongest so here you can see the biggest one is this one here you can do the circle it is the strongest and biggest plant then also color the plant that needs support which plant needs support here you can see this one needs support so this plant you can color green okay so if you have your textbook you can do it if you don't have don't worry you just watch this video so here in this first chapter we are going to do types of plants there are many different types of plants the some are small some are big and some are uh, very strong some are very weak some uh, grow in the ground some grow straight so there are many different types of plants so we will see which plant is called by what name so in that there are many different types of plants you can see as you can you go out you can see there are different types of plants around your houses around your school everything plants are of different shape see you can see these are the different types of plants here you can see there are four plants but they are of different size and shape yes these are the different 
this is conical in shape this is long strong tree so there are different four types of trees yes then so let's read some more information about plants we see different kinds of plants around us each plant differ from other plant in size shape color smell place of growth etc plants grow on land as well as in water they grow in cold places and hot places too plants can be classified into this following categories so the that category we will learn ahead in this lesson but before that we will see what are the different types of plants there are many different types of plants which has different size different shape and they also have different color some sometimes you can see that there are leaves of red color and orange color so there can be different types of colors uh, colors in leaves then smell uh, also differs then places of growth some grows in desert some in la uh, land some in waters etc so there are many many different types of plants as you can see around your house you can see the plants grow by themselves on the land and when you put uh, water in something then if you put that water uh, vessel open then after a few months it will green uh, some green colorish something will grow into it that is what that is also some one type of plant plant so in uh, oceans and sea inside deep inside you can see different plants so plants can grow at any place So this is your uh, second page of your textbook based on the size and the type of stem plants are of different types as we have seen the plants they are they were having different types of stem here it is very thin thick the, the different types of stems are there trunks are there leaves are there then shape of the trees are also different so it it differs in different plants then in that we, the categories are first is trees some plants are big and tall they have strong and woody stems called trunks so there are many plants which are very big and very tall they have very strong strong woody stem here you can see what is this it is these are all stems and here this one is the strongest and woodiest stem you can it is called trunk what it is called trunk in last picture here you can see this is trunk this is also trunk then here trunk then here also you can see it is trunk so the uh, the stem which is the strongest and hardest one is said trunk and it is at the bottom uh, of the leaves for example are banyan neem and mango trees so these are the trees and these are the examples of the trees okay so trees are big and tall and strong plants they have a thick brown and woody stem called trunk they have many branches that bears leaves fruits and flowers their roots are thick and strong roots thick and strong roots trees usually live for many years you as you have can see around your house there are many many big plants which are from so many years yes they are they can live for so many years some plants are also 100 years old so examples are neem pine mango pepal banyan coconut these are the different types of example here you can see this is banyan tree this is mango tree so so mango trees as you can see this is a mango plant sorry mango tree and it has fruits yes before grow 
fruits are gone there are flowers then flowers become fruits yes this is also mango season and you are eating mangoes also this in this season and it will get over now because now rainy season will, will come so in this plant it is very big in size as you can see there are, it is very big here its trunk is very big and hard and strong and here you can see this yes so i from this you can say it can be said that it is very old tree and this is banyan tree okay so now next is shrubs next type is shrub some plants are small they have woody stems such as such plants are called shrubs for example rose tulsi and hibiscus plant here you can see the shrub shrub plant is given it is of rose yes so it is a shrub so, so in <coughs> we we have seen many plants in that some are small they have stem they have woody stem but it is very small such plants are called shrubs for example if you have rose at your house you can see it is where it has branches it has stems and flowers leaves etc but it is small in size it is not very big very much big like trees it is very small so they are called shrub they are not very tiny not very big but at the at in the middle shrubs are small to medium sized woody stems and may grow up to height of 5 to 6 meters they are smaller than trees they are highly branched from base of the stem they have many thin brown and woody stems they are also called bushes shrubs usually live for a few years for example rose hibiscus jasmine tulsi cotton etc so what is shrub shrub as i told you shrubs are small in size it they are not very much small and very much big they are at the middle size yes they also have woody they are also woody plants and they grow up to 5 to 6 meters okay they are their height is 5 to 6 meter not less than that and not that much big they are smaller than trees compared to trees they are small in size they are highly branch from base from base only they have so many branches and it do, do, they don't have that much thick stem or trunk they have thin little bit thin uh, stem they have many thin brown and woody stem they have different uh, so many woody stems they don't have thick uh, trunk they are small they are also called bushes they are also said to be bushes shrubs for example here examples are given rose hibiscus jasmine tulsi and cotton and they usually live for few years not so many years they usually live for few years then here the example is given this is the hibiscus plant it is a flower and you uh, if you have hibiscus at your home you can see that it is not very big in size it don't have trunk that much thick it has stems thin stems and many branches and uh, not that much heighted like a tree then comes tulsi tulsi plant is at every one's house it is available at every one's house because it is very a good plant and medicinal plant we can use that tulsi plants leaves for as a medicines for if we have cold or cough so it 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 is available at every one's house you can use that plant for medicinal use in that if you have your tulsi plant at your house you can see that it has many branches yes thin uh, thin stems and it is not as big as trees it is uh, 
small in size okay so as you can see this is tulsi plant here also one example is given that is rose plant many houses have rose plants and if you have rose at your home you can see they also have different sorry many branches and it has flowers leaves etc okay so i hope you understood what is tree and what is shrub okay now we will go ahead with the herbs some small plants have soft stems such plants are called herbs for examples are mint and coriander plants and water plants such as lotus so here now herbs herbs are small plants and they are very they have very soft stem if it gets bent then uh, it will not work properly such plants are said herbs for example here mint plant is given you can see this is mint plant then next example is given coriander you uh, we use coriander in our kitchen that coriander plant is said to be herbs okay then water plant such as lotus lotus is one type of herb many herbs we use in our kitchen for example mint coriander etc okay herbs are very small and weak plants so these plants are very small in size and they are very weak okay we should be careful with them they have thin green and soft stems they are their stems are green in color not brown in color they are very thin and green and soft stems they usually live for 3 to 4 months yes their life uh, span like they live only for 3 to 4 months okay then it's can it can be used as medicines or to flav add flavor to food so this herbs are used as medicines or as you they are used for adding flavor to it, food so mostly these herbs are used for this purpose they are mostly known for the smell which is pleasant and amazing so herbs are mostly uh, their smell is very nice and pleasant and it is amazing so it is used to add flavor to your food and when you add this herbs to your food the food smell will be very nice which is pleasant and amazing banana plant is world's largest herb yes banana plant is very big it looks like a tree but it is not a tree it is a herb and it is very sorry it is big world's largest herb yes you heard it right banana plant is a herb and it is it is the world's largest herb for example mint coriander spinach rosemary etc so these are the different examples of herb from this some are some are used to add add flavors to your food and some are used to uh, make dishes and some are used to may uh, may uh, used as medicines okay so here you can see that mint plant is there so this is mint this is coriander and it this is spinach yes these two are used to add flavors to your food then it this is used to make dish healthy dish so these three are very healthy for us we can eat them and they are green in color and this all will make your food very nice in taste okay by adding this uh, herbs the, your food gets very flavorful and very it will smell very nice spinach is a healthy food you can uh, make a dish from it and uh, uh, eat as a healthy food you can add that in your salad and if you want to add it okay so your your this three topics are over today we will do this much only now we will read how uh, the 
all the topics again and you have to read along with me so let's start with the first page of it lesson 1 types of plants types of plants there are many types of plants around us plants are of different shapes and size look at the picture given below circle the biggest and strongest plant also color the plant that needs support to stand straight in green plants we see different kinds of plants around us each plant differs from one other from other plant in size shape color smell place of growth etc plants grow on land as well as in water they grow in cold places and hot places too plants can be classified into this following categories types of plants based on the size and type of stem plants are of different types trees some plants are big and tall they are strong and woody stems called they have strong and woody stems called trunks such plants are called trees examples are banyan neem and mango trees shrubs shrubs some plants are small they have woody stems herbs some small plants have soft stems such plants are called herbs for example are mint and coriander plants and plants such as the lotus water plants such as the lotus trees trees are big tall and strong plants they have a thick brown and woody stem called trunk they have many branches that bear leaves flowers and fruits their roots are thick and strong roots trees usually live for many years examples neem pine mango peepal banyan coconut etc shrubs shrubs are small to medium sized woody plants and may grow up to height of 5 to 6 meters they are smaller than trees they are highly branched from the base of the stem they have many thin brown and woody stems they are also called bushes shrubs usually live for a few years examples rose hibiscus jasmine tulsi cotton etc herbs herbs are very small and weak plants they have thin green and soft stems they usually live for 3 to 4 months it can be used as medicines or to add flavors to food they are mostly known for their smell which is pleasant and amazing banana plant is the world's largest herb examples mint coriander spinach rosemary etc so we have completed the reading now we will do some revision what we have done in this lecture so again we will go to the first page and we will see what we have learned today okay so first we learn that there are many different types of plants with different size shape color etc okay so in that we have three uh, we have learned three types first was pla uh, sorry first was trees so trees are the big tall and strong plants and they have thick brown and woody stem their stem is very thick and they are called and the stem of the trees which are very thick and brown are called trunk okay and they have uh, 
they live for many years trees have long life and their example are neem pine mango banyan tree and mango tree okay this are the were the examples which we have done then comes shrubs and shrubs are the small are in small size means not that much small they are you know, small compared to trees but are medium in size they have wood also have woody stem and they live for uh they uh, sorry they live for few years not so many years but few years they have many branches they have thin brown and woody stems but they're not that much uh, not very thin but compared to trees they are thin they are also called bushes and their examples are rose hibiscus jasmine tulsi cotton and this are this is hibiscus plant this is tulsi plant so as you can see their branches are very thin and they have so many branches okay so after that there are herbs herbs are very small in size they are very weak they have green and soft stems they usually you live for 3 to 4 months so their life is for only 3 to 4 months and uh, they are used to add flavors in your food and uh, they are also used as medicines and their smell uh, is very nice for example mint mint leaves are very nice in smell you can add that mint leaves in your food so that your food smells very nice and also tastes very nice and in that one fact was that banana plant is the world's largest herb yes we have learned that banana plant is a herb and it is the world's largest herb and examples are mint coriander spinach and rosemary so this is well the examples mint coriander and spinach okay okay so that was all for today we have done this this much we have learned three different types of plants trees shrubs and herbs we will go ahead in our next video till then you have to revise this watch this video again and again and you have to understand this much and you have to keep this all three types in your mind till then thank you have a nice day bye students